Hi everyone, my name is Matt. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. As a person with RP, I understand the power and convenience of information being delivered through audio and video versus text, which is why I wanted to start and make this video for you to show you and give you the steps of how you can get free genetic testing here in Minnesota. So I, re I recently had genetic testing done roughly a week and a half ago, and it was through the My Retina Tracker free genetic testing study, which is actually a genetic test that is being funded through the Foundation Fighting Blindness. And it's a limited time uh, genetic test that is actually being funded. So right now, and from what I understand, from for the next year or two, this testing is going to be covered through funds that were donated. Um, anything outside of that time frame is likely going to be up to the patient to uh, cover and pay for on their own. This is a great time to have this done, so you don't need to worry about the cost implications. So how does the genetic test work and what do they do? So for me, I went to uh, one of the I went to an office here in Edina, Minnesota. The name is Vitro Retina Surgery. They have locations all over the city, and that's just the, the location that is that works best for me because I live in the West Metro. So I went to the Edina location, and I actually worked with a guy by the name of Neil Ostrich. He's a really great guy, very nice. Um, he listens, he's very easy to work with. He answers all the questions that you may have, and he's very well-versed in in this field um, with genetic testing, um, especially the one right now with the My Retina Tracker genetic test. Um, by the sounds of it, I was one of the first or the one of the first patients that came in for this test. Obviously, he didn't give me uh, specifics, but he just said he's very new to it and he's still learning as well. So I was there, like I said, about a week and a half ago. And what they did is it was a simple blood test. So we went through about four or five pages of consent forms, signing off saying uh, essentially that my blood is going to be sent to a lab. They're going to test my blood and identify any genes uh, within this comprehensive panel. Um, they're going to screen for roughly 180 genes and look for any mutations that could be causing my retinitis pigmentosa. So the consent is essentially my blood's going there, they're going to hold it, and um, after the test, they're going to deliver this information and input it into the My Retina Tracker database, which is as if you're on the database, you will know that it's a completely anonymous uh, database, which doctors, researchers, scientists, uh, pharmaceutical companies, these types of people and organizations have access to this database and they can see all of this compiled information that is input into the database to help them with research and possibly cures or pharmaceuticals, anything like that. All of these people are working to help find a cure for us with retinitis pigmentosa. So <clears throat> I know that there's some controversy um, over the platform and, oh, is it anonymous or is my information being sent out to everyone? And you can definitely be assured that it is a, an anonymous platform. So um, I would definitely recommend doing that. Also, one of the prerequisites of getting this free genetic testing through My Retina Tracker is you actually must be registered on MyRetinaTracker.org in order to receive this free genetic testing. So that is something that you will need to do if you want this genetic test and you want it to be free, funded by uh, foundation fighting blindness. So getting back to the actual office visit, I was in the room with Neil and he went through all the consent forms and um, it's just, it's a very simple blood draw. Um, in some situations they do collect a saliva, saliva sample, um, but like Neil explained to me, the saliva sample is maybe not as accurate as a blood draw. So we elected for the blood draw, but in some situations, if you're not okay or you're not comfortable with needles, you may elect to do the uh, saliva sample instead. So those are the two options. It's a very simple test. You're in the room for maybe 10 minutes. You go through the, the consent forms. He asks uh, any, if you have any questions. Um, you, act, you can ask him any questions that you may have. There's the blood draw. He packages up 
packages up the blood, and then he uh, handles it from there. And then in roughly four to six weeks, so that should be in a roughly about four and a half or five weeks for me, I should be hearing from someone. Um, I'm not exactly sure who will be contacting me, but someone will be contacting me and telling me that the results are in from the genetic test and that I will be um, having a follow-up call with a genetic counselor. And now that is going to be an appointment with the genetic counselor who will, it's usually uh, scheduled for an hour appointment, phone, uh, it's a phone appointment. And what they do is they interpret the results from the genetic test. If you've ever been genetically tested before and you've actually seen the paperwork that they send you, um, it's very confusing. If you're not a geneticist or understand anything about genetics, you're probably not going to understand the information on the pages. It's very, um, it's very elaborate and um, it's definitely not something that I understand or uh, you, you definitely need someone who is a geneticist or a genetic counselor, someone that understands this very well in order to interpret these results. And in fact, they do provide a free one hour um, genetic counseling um, phone call with this genetic test. So that's my experience so far with the genetic testing. And again, like I said, this is a limited time um, opportunity to get genetically tested through myretinatracker.org. And it's funded for what sounds to be like the next one to possibly two years uh, for people with retinitis pigmentosa. So if you're interested, I would highly recommend um, possibly checking out, like I said, the clinic that I went to because um, they, they definitely know what they're talking about. Um, they've done a few of these so far and they, um, they're prepared to take on more patients coming in with this. And it's just a great opportunity. In the end, it's going to ultimately help all of us find a cure for retinitis pigmentosa. So again, the clinic that I went to was Vitro Retina Surgery. It's in Edina, Minnesota off of France. And like I said, there are several locations around the Minneapolis area. And the, and the person that you want to speak to when you call that office is Neil Ostrich. Again, great guy, very helpful, and he knows exactly um, what, what it is that you want. If you just call him and say, hey, I'm, I'm interested in doing the My Retina Tracker genetic test, you can even say my name. Say, Matt sent me. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, it's a little plug, but I'll get to that in a little while. Um, he definitely knows me. I've spent a few, I've spent a um, couple different days in his office talking with him on the phone even. So, so yeah, um, that is my experience with uh, genetic testing as of right now. If you have any questions, um, I would, I would recommend calling Neil. Otherwise, if you'd like, I actually do have a YouTube channel, which is um, it's a channel that's mostly centered around me and my life with vision loss. Like I said, I have retinitis pigmentosa. Um, I have very limited vision. I have light perception, and that's about it. Um, so yeah, it's just a YouTube channel I created almost four months ago. Most of my videos, I have roughly 80 videos uploaded on YouTube. Most of my videos are focused around RP and different questions or experiences that I have with retinitis pigmentosa. Otherwise, I do have quite a few videos on there too of just different parts, um, just me going out and about doing different things and just showing, just giving you little glimpses of um, just my life and just some of the things that I do as someone with RP. So if you wanna check out my YouTube channel, any, any support on my channel and any additional viewers, subscribers, comments, anything like that, I really sincerely appreciate all of that. So if you want to check it out, my channel name is blind to billionaire So if you just go to youtube.com slash blind billionaire it'll bring you right to my channel. Otherwise, I will also stick the link uh, to my channel in this email, and it'll be forwarded to you as well. You can just click on the link and it'll go right to my channel. So Again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop any comments in my YouTube channel on the videos and I will definitely answer them for you. Otherwise, I hope this is helpful information and um, yeah, thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you at some point in the future. Thanks again.